An advisory is in effect for central and southern areas. It does include repeats pairs and the metro. That's in effect until 7 o'clock this evening for those heat index values up to 113 degrees today. So heat index values still going to be high, but uh, those actual temperatures going to be a little bit milder today. You notice that we're in the 80s for the most part, even 82. One of the cooler areas there in Derrida. We have 86 in uh, Leesville, 84 at the airport, 80 in Natchez. But with the extra moisture in the air, it is still going to feel somewhat sweltery for today. You notice cloudy to mostly cloudy skies out there as well. This right here is a front that came through yesterday and brought us some of that activity. And uh, it's close enough that we're going to see that slim rain chance once again today. Slim for most or southeastern areas may see more of a decent chance for today. This right here is Tropical Storm Edelia. And this right here is moving to the north at about 8 miles an hour. You notice max sustained winds at 65 miles an hour. And so definitely tropical warm category, but uh, you notice it's just starting to move to the north there. It will continue to gain speed and traction, if you will, and continue to strengthen into a hurricane category one hurricane, then two, then before it makes landfall, unfortunately, a category three hurricane, and it looks like that's headed toward the big bend area of Florida there. And you can see it may take another day or so by the time it really gets its act going and its traction up to the north. But uh, the further north it goes, the faster it'll go in pace or speed. But uh, you'll notice the big bend area of Florida here, there from about Tampa Bay is where it's projected to make landfall at as a major category three hurricane. And then you notice it kind of skirts the South Carolina coast as a tropical storm and then heads back out into the Atlantic. So we're not going to see any impacts from that. Um, we do kind of need the rainfall from it, but, uh, you know, we don't really need some of the other things that come along with uh, tropical cyclones. And so as we take a look at the upper levels, you notice that uh, hurricane moving up the Florida coast there, and uh, that continues to move out to the east toward the Atlantic, but you notice some troughing still going on across our states in the southeastern U.S., and that could prolong a little bit of a slim rain chance in the forecast. Now, as we head into the weekend, notice up a level high pressure in place, and that will allow those temperatures to get back up to near the triple digits for the actual temperature. Now, as we take a look at this afternoon, you notice that we're seeing some isolated activity today. Maybe becomes more scattered further to the southeast later on this afternoon. Temperatures in the low to mid 90s tomorrow morning starting off a lot like what we did this morning maybe less light rainfall out there just more partly cloudy conditions but the temperatures right around the same then we're going to be in the mid 90s for your tuesday and a slim rain chance especially for east and southeastern areas on your tuesday but the rain chances will be slimmer on tuesday than what they'll be this afternoon 30 percent chance for our northeastern areas central areas and parts of our western areas a 40 percent chance for our southern areas maybe up to a 50 percent chance there in st landry paris you notice a 20 20% just isolated activity in nature for our northern areas, and that's in the afternoon hours today. So here's a look at your daily high temperatures for today. We're going to be in the low 90s there for the central and northern areas, more mid-90s for the southern areas. Looks like the coolest wind is 92, and the warmest wind do throughout our viewing area, 96 toward Opelousa. So here's a look at the next several days. 20% chance of activity on the average for your Tuesday, a 10% on Wednesday, reinforcing shot of kind of some drier, a milder air, if you will, but it's really going to do little force temperature wise you notice temperature wise really not too bad over the next two or three days then upper 90s thursday then gradually rising as high pressure takes hold once again as we head into the weekend but slim rain chances next weekend at least are still in the forecast